Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jeremiah Hersey from Pragmatic Works, and today we're gonna to be talking about aggregates inside of the Power Query Editor. Now we all know that you can create aggregates inside of the desktop using measures and using DAX, but if we have the availability to create these columns inside of the Power Query Editor, that's where we wanna do it. The reason for that is we're gonna get better compression and we're gonna get better performance if we create these columns inside the Power Query Editor. So let's go ahead and jump over there and see what is going on. So here we are inside of our Power Query Editor and I have two tables. I have a BMI table and an income table. And as we're looking at these table, the first thing we notice is that our column headers say column one, two, three, and four, which is not ideal. So we have to clean up our data a little bit before we can start to aggregate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and promote this first row to the headers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select the icon here. I'm going to use the first row as headers. And so now I have a country column and I have a list of my years across the top of the headers. Now this presents a particular problem because if I wanted to get metrics or aggregates across a specific country for all of the years, it would be very, very difficult because of the way that the data is set up. So if I wanted to get a average BMI for Afghanistan across all the years, I wouldn't be able to do that because they're in multiple columns. So what I need to do is I need to get this blue headers, right, the list of years, I need to get that into a single column. And I also need the metrics to be in a single column as well so that I can average them or find the median, whatever I need to do. So anytime you have data that's set up this way where you have a column or columns that you don't want to modify and you have a list of attributes or years across the header that you want to put in a single column, you're going to use the unpivot option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on country and I'm going to unpivot the other columns. This is going to cause my headers to become my attribute column, which is going to be my year and I'll change that to a whole number. And then it's gonna put the BMIs in a single column as well. So notice that if I wanted to take an average across these three years specifically, I could now because all of the BMI are located with inside of the same column. All right, so let's look at our income table. We can see we have some work to do with this as well. So let's go ahead and promote the first row of headers. And we'll go ahead and change this name. All right, and what we're gonna notice is once again, we find ourselves in a similar situation to we have a list of years across the header row and we have a column that we do not want to change. This is a complete list of our countries but then we have all of this metric data kind of intersecting in between. So just like we did in the previous table, we're gonna go ahead and unpivot the rest of the columns. So I'm gonna right click on country and I'm gonna unpivot the other columns. This is gonna cause the headers to turn into a single column, which I'm gonna call the year. And then we'll also have the income column as well and make sure to change that data type to a whole number. So now I have my tables cleaned up. This is where the aggregation part starts. So in order to create an aggregation, we need to merge these two tables together. Okay, so, but notice that if I look at my BMI table, look at the years. The year starts at 1980. If I click this drop down arrow, I can see that it goes from 1980 all the way to 2008, if I load more. Okay, 1980 to 2008. So what I could do is I could just go ahead and filter this table out. So I can use a number filter. So I'm gonna click the drop down arrow and I'm gonna use a number filter between, and I'm just gonna go ahead and filter this data down between 1980 and 2008. Now our merge would do the same thing but 
this is just another option. So we could do a merge that would only look at the values where they match. So we could do an inner merge or a left outer depending on what table we're in. But you could also just put a number filter on it as well. So now that I have my two tables cleaned up, I can now merge them together. So I'm going to select merge queries at the top under the home ribbon. And I'm going to select my BMI table. So I could use the country and the year, but then it would use the specific country and year for the aggregation and wouldn't look over all of the years for the specific country. So the only column that I'm going to use for a key column is the country column. Now, once again, the join type here, so my income is my, my left table. So I want to pull everything from that table and anything matching. I could also do a inner join as well. This would also produce the same results. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And as always, we can get a preview of the information that's inside of this table by clicking on the cell where the table's located, and we can see all of the data that's inside of it. So once again, for this row, it's looking at all of the years for Afghanistan. That's what we wanted it to do. So if you click the expand icon on the column, you're going to get two options. You can either just expand the table and bring back the BMI for the particular year, or we can select aggregate. With aggregate, this allows us to aggregate our data in multiple ways. So if I go down here to BMI and click the drop down, notice I can get, and I'll use an average BMI. I can get the median, the minimum, and the maximum if I want to. Okay. And once again, this is going to be based off the country for all the years in the designated country. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see that our data is now being validated. And it's the same value all the way down until we switch countries. So let me get a, uh, a country switch here. All right, so notice with Afghanistan, okay, it's running the values. So the average BMI for Afghanistan is 21. If I look at Albania, it looks like it's 25, a little bit higher. And so once again, it's using the country and all of the years with inside of that country to produce these results. So as I said before, if you have the ability to create columns inside of the Power Query Editor, that's where you want to do it because you're going to get the best compression. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.